of my listeners out there who have sent me so much love and so much gratitude um, for my show. And to celebrate that, I am, as you can tell by the title, releasing another ASMR episode. You guys seem to really love these ASMR. another one today. So, in honor of, again, six months, I am going to be sharing my six top tips about how I've been able to not let the negativity affect me, because as a podcaster or anyone who puts themselves online, you're bound to get hate, and that's happened to me more recently. I recently got a message on Instagram saying, oh, you only have this many views, so why are you so proud of that? Well, it's still a view. People still listen and watch my podcast if you're on YouTube or even listen to my podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Audible, Apple Podcasts, oh, I said Apple Podcasts already, um, Google Podcasts, I mean... So, everyone listens to my show in some sort of platform, which is amazing, and I have made it to 11 different countries. So, that alone is something to celebrate. So, my first tip on how to filter out all the negativity and for it to not affect you is reread all the love messages you get. I've gotten more love than hate, so whenever I feel like some kind of comment or message is bringing me down, I just read a love message that one of my friends or my audience has sent me, either on DMs or texts, and it's just amazing. It's so amazing. My next tip is to limit my time on social media, especially scrolling. So. As a content creator, I am on social media a lot, a lot, but I always, always, always dedicate certain times of day when I'm not on social media. So maybe like some days, it's when I'm outside running errands, I do not go on social media at all. And that it just allows me for time for myself to disconnect and just be with myself and not read any comments. Comments specifically negative comments, I always, always get back to the positive comments and then I just delete any of the negative comments I get on my social media or in my DMs. It just really depends. Number three is to join a community that actually supports you. Now, this definitely has helped me filter out the negativity that my podcast sometimes gets. And that is because when you are surrounded by other lovely people who support you will do whatever no matter what and will still guide you no matter what even if some days you're having a hard time I turn to that community all the time and it honestly really 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 helps and I cannot thank my community of podcasters and entrepreneurs like just thinking about it because without them I also probably would have not had the push that I realized that I needed to launch this podcast. My fourth tip is that I always, always filter out all my guests. So what I mean by that is I'm very, very selective with what guests I bring on my show. I've had to don't bring them on by the way it's because i need to get a feel for them i'm very very selective i have had a bad experience of having a guest on my show and it was really really early on when i first started this certain guest was just being so rude to me after we recorded the episode and after i released it and it ended up being my worst episode to date and it's still up. I never deleted the episode, but it was just a really 
really bad episode and I truly didn't like it because the conversation was not opened as I wanted it to be and I even tell now people like you need to have open conversations with me or else it is not going to work. So that really, really has helped me so much. The number a very very strong word but and especially when it comes to podcasting you can't please every single person there are so many people in this world and i you can't satisfy everybody so if there is somebody who is giving you hate on whatever you do just take your attention away from it and just know love you so so much and you have to be able to do this for yourself not anyone else if you're doing this to prove to somebody else that you can do it i can do it all then that's not a good mentality as in anything and especially when it comes to podcasting because people can really really feel your energy they can feel much